The subject of dreams and visions is not a new one. It goes all the way back to the book of Genesis. The New Testament opens up with four prophetic dreams in a row. So this is not a side thing. This is a central thing. We know of different characters such as Daniel, Jacob, all these different people that had dreams. Uh, some of them covenant people of Israel and some of them non-covenant people like Nebuchadnezzar or even Abimelech. This is a great way by which the Spirit of God speaks to all of us all the time. But you have to have an understanding heart and a hearing ear to understand and you have to interpret the Bible by the Bible. Otherwise, you get a skewed understanding of what the Spirit of God is speaking to you. So realize this, capture down on paper what the Holy Spirit says to you in your dreams because your dreams are speaking for the future, speaking for the present, sometimes even about other people. Sometimes they're warning dreams, sometimes they're informational dreams or inspirational or even healing dreams. You can literally be healed in a prophetic dream. And so I just challenge you today in the name of Jesus that you begin to start to get understanding. In other words, as the Holy Spirit is speaking to you in your dreams, don't shrug it off and just kind of act like it's not for you, but instead grab a hold of it and begin to say to yourself, I need this, I need this information. This is why God Almighty is communicating to me today through this method. And so if you begin to open your heart to that, you'll begin to see that literally one third of your life is spent sleeping. And on top of it, a third of the Bible has to do with visions and dreams, either directly or indirectly. That's why it's an imperative part of God's word. So today with all you're getting, get understanding.